Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Morning. I uh, just got some water on the boil. Because I'm going to have a coffee. My favourite uh, coffee bags. And I'm going to have a full Monty, can of full Monty. Well, my water's boiling now, so that's ready for me a uh, coffee. Well, folks, very misty today on the trail. Um, just getting as far as I did yesterday, having a walk around from the, the camping spot to try and find a signal. I've got like a GIF GAF, which is on O2 network, and uh, ASDA mobile, which is on EE network, and I couldn't uh, get any signal whatsoever. Um, and as I said, my uh, smartphone buggered up basically. When I tried to start it, it wouldn't start. Like uh, I'll type in the uh, password, but it just kept loading, and then saying type in the password again. So I had to re um, boot it, the boot menu, and erase all the data, then uh, restart it. And of course, I've got no apps now, so I can't fly the drone. I've got um, View Ranger on the phone anymore. So yeah. That's one to look out for folks if you're using a smartphone. It's a Pixel phone I'm using. And I only just bought it because that's replaced my other one that uh, broke from uh, rain damage. And um, luckily I got this Garmin with OS Maps, which has never failed me. And it's got the route on as well. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's very, uh, it's not, I prefer using a smartphone because the display and it's faster but i take this for emergencies now and i did used to use it all the time but now i use the smartphone but yeah the smartphones are not not as reliable as this and it doesn't need mobile signal either for the maps <laughs> my route i planned was actually going through there but no thank you i'm not on an amazon expedition fuck that I'm going to stick to the trail, but I think it's going to take me miles and miles off course. But to be, there's no way, I don't know if people actually walk through there, but on my other view ranger map, it hasn't really got it on there. It had some kind of avenue going through there. Maybe there originally was, but it, I don't know what that means. It had like an avenue on the map, but there was no sort of four wheel drive track on there or footpath. It just had this like avenue mark, maybe. Maybe it was originally there when the forest was growing, growing, and it's just overgrown now, and it wasn't actually a walkway, I don't know. But uh, it's not there now, and <laughs> there's no way I'm walking through those trees. Um, as far as I, I can't really, this is the problem with this, it's reliable, but it's just so slow, and it's trying to find, this is when it's a good idea to have a map, but obviously I'm, walk, I'm walking a large distance, so carrying loads of maps is not really an option. Actually, there's not an official, this isn't an official hike, so uh, there is no uh, Scottish English border uh, walking map. So I'm walking along a four wheel drive track now, which is part of the bicycle network, apparently. I think uh, it's a border, is it a border trail or something? The, unfortunately, it doesn't go along all the border, obviously, so I'll be just staying on this, but. At the moment, I have to stay on it because unless I want to walk through an Amazon type situation, which I don't, if I was getting paid to do it, I would. If you want to pay me to do it, yeah, fine, but I am, you know, this is for fun. I'm doing this for fun, not, not getting paid for it, it's all fun. So, uh, man, this place has got a much more remote feeling than any other national park I've been to. I think I'm in the North Cumberland National Park, Cold Forest. I'm not sure if it's, I think it's in the North Cumberland National Park, but this has got a seriously remote feel to it um, compared to the Lake District, which is, you know, <coughs> you see people everywhere in the Lake District. Even in winter time, there's quite a few people about especially the, obviously the popular areas but this place i've seen three people in the last like 40 
40 hours on bikes. They were just on bikes going on this cycle trail. So it's not a busy cycle trail this time of year. Yeah, this is what it's called. Cross border trail, the bicycle trail. Well, I'm not doing all of this obviously because it doesn't go across all the border. But yeah, that's the trail I'm on at the moment. I know what I did when um, I planned the route wrong. Um, I should have planned it over tracks and pathways. In fact, I used some of these avenues to plan the route. Um, you can see the trees are clear, but look at the, the terrain. It's just infested with ticks and God knows what. And I've just got trail runners. There's not a chance in hell I'm walking through that crap with trail runners. It's not, not a route at all. It's just like a, an avenue maybe put up to plant the trees. I don't know, but um, they're kind of avenues, but they're not, uh, they're not tracks for vehicles or, or um, people. I mean, you could probably walk through there, but as I said, I'm not being paid for this. I'm doing this for fun. So it's not like some kind of a stream mission. It's just walking along as close to the border as I can, uh, which I'm enjoying. Check out this landscape. I know I'm on the four wheel drive track, but it is absolutely stunning. Actually, as you know, in previous videos, I said I can't stand pine trees, but um, I'm starting to actually love pine trees. I don't like camping under them though, because I hate pine needles, but um, I'm starting to appreciate the pine trees. Sorry about the uh, dark darkness. Uh, might have to alter the settings actually. Yeah, there's a there's a house down there, someone's house. It's not boffy because I can see a gas supply. So uh could be like I, I guess like the forest warden or whatever. Forest ranger. Okay folks, it's uh Willow Bog Cottage and it has an email address and website. I think you might be able to rent it out, I'm not sure. It's a scout group cottage. So I've just come from over there, starting to clear up a bit, I think. There's the uh, scout uh, place you can rent out there, I think. And I've got to go up this way. I've totally changed the route. It looks like I'm going to actually head towards a road because I'm too unsure which way I'm going. It's hard to see on this, uh, this old GPS compared to the phone. And I've got no, obviously the phone's out of order at the moment. I think it was the bloody bush toll I wanted to see really but it's a long way off trail and this trail goes to uh, Newcastle Ten, where I want to go to Calder so yeah I'm, I'm gonna give it a miss to be honest um, yeah I'm sure there's some pictures of it on the internet somewhere that uh, people can uh, have a look at it. Apparently this way to Calder. Forest road maintenance. Lonesome pine bushy bush. I don't know what that was. MTB Mountain Trail, something or other. MTB trail users please observe all signs and instructions where road forest may is taking place. It's up that way. But I've no idea where it goes. Folks, well I've got to this uh sign here i've got uh three miles five kilo or five kilometers to uh calder village where i'm gonna camp and there's a bridge i've just got to go over to get to the other side of this river and i think it's um, a lake sidewalk into the village Some useful information there for people. At last, a map, and I am here at the moment. And I, God knows where I walked, um, but I'm coming out here then, and I've got to walk along here to Calder, Calder Village. So I'll probably come off here and then go up there. There's a castle as well, apparently. Looks like we've got a Khan dedicated to somebody, maybe.
Wow, it's a big, uh, big lake. We are on the English side of the border, so it's a lake. It's pretty impressive. Two miles to Calder Castle. And we've got a sign here. Um, side shore, Calder Castle, Calder Village. Two and a half miles. Oh, that's cool. Not too far. Calder Castle, one mile. Not going over there. It's a bridge name there. And I'm one and a half miles from Calder, Calder village. Well, I'm in Calder, but I can't see the campsite. Just stopped at these gardens for a bit. There's not even a bin here though. You think there'd be a bin? Okay, I arrived at Calder campsite. Doesn't say anything about price or where to go and pay. Wonder if it's open. <laughs> this is a Calder um, post office shop. It's supposed to be open to four according to Google. Not looking very open, is it? Closed. So folks, if you're hoping to use, so folks, if you're hoping to use the Calder Village Post Office stores, um, it's closed. It closed on the 24th of April, 2019. Google still says it's open, so, yeah, I'll have to update that. It's a shame. Okay, just having cotton chips at um, Calder Castle Caf. So that's the cotton chips I got. Uh, see what it tastes like. So, yep, that was really nice. And this is the campsite I'm staying at in uh, Calder. It's quite nice actually. A friendly owner or staff. I haven't checked out the facilities yet. Thanks, folks, for taking your time to watch my uh, video. Please do check out the description for extra information, including all the products I used in this video. See you on the next adventure.